Guys, I have breaking news. Like, this is going to make you really sad. It's like finding out that your grandmother passed away. It's going to make you cry. You're going to pee your eyes when you find out that Scarlett Johansson has lost an iconic role of 239 million. Do you know why? It's because she was too sexy for the character. Opportunities taken away. You know, it's also interesting that they do not mention the fact <coughs> that uh, she also lost another iconic role where a couple of individuals decided to create a transgender movie, right? Like to get the public to sympathize with the hardship that transgender people face every day. And they wanted to cast Scarlett Johansson, but the brave activists on Twitter, the enlightened minds of our society, the protectors of our democracy said no. You cannot cast Scarlett Johansson because she's not authentic. You need a trans actress to play the role. And because of that, the movie was scrapped because Scarlett Johansson didn't want to do with the controversy. And uh, the people making the movie said that, well, without a powerful star name, we're not going to get butts in seats. So I want to thank the people on Twitter for saving us from that atrocious movie. But, but it was also last opportunity. Right? It's interesting. It seems that looking the part actually matters in the world of acting. So yes, uh, believe it or not, the way a character looks can influence how the viewer feels about things. So for example, if you uh, look at uh, Naruto, right? Like Naruto gets uh, beaten up by Sakura a lot in his childhood. Now, if the roles were reversed... If you had a man beating up a woman for the same reason that Sakura beats up Naruto, uh, it would look like the man is the worst asshole on earth. But because it's a cute woman doing it, then it's funny, right? So you notice this in almost every manga where the female character is either aggressive or she's the one that's lusting after the male lead. Uh, it's cute. It's adorable. Right? Like, when a woman gets rejected in a movie, people feel sympathetic for her. When a man gets rejected, it's an insult. Like, it matters. But for some reason, we have to pretend it doesn't, right? And we have to pretend that Scarlett Johansson didn't land roles because she is sexy. Like, I am curious if we make a balance and we figure out, like, how many roles did she land because she is sexy versus how many roles was she declined. I think she will end up with plus 500 million or something at the end of the day. But we cannot have these honest conversations now, can we? So apparently, with great beauty comes great compromise. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Uh, apparently, she lost several roles, which she does not regret losing, uh, such as the girl with the dragon tattoo. And this is due to the fact that the director said she was too sexy and you feel like taking her clothes off. Again, like, you know, I, I wish that the director would keep that to himself. Like, not every single person must feel like him. You know, like, wh whatever. After portraying some notable and iconic roles throughout her Hollywood career, people came to recognize Scarlett Johansson, the actress, has been hailed as one of the finest and is often portrayed in a wide range of characters and appearances. Uh, she also went on and complained, by the way, about sexy characters. Like, she doesn't like the fact that women are being objectified after, of course, objectifying herself in many movies. In other words, she is kicking the ladder down for upcoming stars. Right, like, this is who Scarlett Johansson is, in case you didn't know. Uh, but I just wanted to point this out there, so let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.